Otherwise, you're gonna end up taking too much off. Oh, Steve. Seeing some walnut. Oh. Well, you didn't stop. In fact, oh, you go all the way through. Whoa! No, this is that sinking feeling that I was hoping to avoid. Hey friends! It's a cold, crispy day in the Shenandoah Valley. And uh, yeah, man, maybe the haircut. Maybe the haircut. The last, when we started the series, that day I had haircut. Haven't had a haircut since then. So 13 episodes since my last haircut. But I'm feeling it. It's cold and crispy. And I'll have to show you. I mean, this is a beautiful place. The sky is super blue and speckly with white puffy clouds today. But yesterday, we worked on the fingerboard. We worked on, uh, we glued the fingerboard. We glued the headstock veneer. We cut the headstock inlay. It's it's coming together. I feel like we're in the home stretch. So if you're new to this series, you should go back to the beginning and watch because we are building an Osage Orange and Sycamore OM with my friend Steve at Showalter Guitars. He's a great friend. He's been incredibly generous to open up his shop for me to build a guitar and for just to open up his shop to the process of building a guitar. This is the best way that I know how to show how to build a guitar. Now with that, it still doesn't cover everything that we need to cover. Along the way, you're definitely gonna have questions, and what you can do with those questions is you can comment down below, tell us what things you need to know. Hey, how thick was that thing that you did? Or what glue did you use for that? Or how long did you let that glue cure? Or why are you making this choice or that choice? There are a million choices that we're making along the way. Some of them get shown on camera, and some of them get shown off camera. Don't get shown. That's the better way of saying that. But, show Alter Guitars, building an OM. Let's do it. Hey friends. Hey, good hey, morning. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. So, oh, hey. <laughs> this is the inspiration for my guitar. Yes. Yeah. Um, Same combo. Yeah. And so that's interesting. That's cool to see. Like, this one has really mellowed mm -hmm. out. Like it was like mustardy. Yep. Yep. I guess like this color. Yeah. That there is you go. bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, so here's where we ended today, yesterday. Headstock overlay. Oh, there's my paper towel epoxy that got stuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, cool. Great. Yeah. All right, Steve, what are we doing today? Well, you have a lot of sanding to do. All right. On this uh, body and. We'll get you started on shaping that neck. Okay. Oh, what? That's 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 the day I've been the most excited about. <laughs> is seeing some shape come to this to this thing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, now notice how this wood is actually sticking up a little bit above. Your um, okay, and that's a good thing because you don't want to take off any more than you have to, okay, on your banding. But, right, and here, right well, it's, it's it's there's it's, one spot where it's a little or like the wood's overhanging. That's what I'm saying. Uh, now, but even here, look, feel it. Let me show people. There's a little of a yeah. ledge. These little spots. So you're gonna work. You're working on the uh, wood. Okay. And not. Well, I mean, not to worry if you come out on this, but you don't want to be cutting down to. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, we want to keep this flat for now. Yeah. I mean, when we, if we want to put a rounded edge on, we can, we will do that later. And then when, but when, when also when you're sanding the back and the top, mm -hmm. the wood is a little proud there too. Okay. So, and so that's good. So, just so what you flat, want to do flat. is basically be flat all the time. Yeah. You don't want to round it. Yeah. Until you actually want to round it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. Uh, Otherwise, you're gonna end up taking too much off. All right, and then what, what grid are we using on the sandpaper? This is 120. Uh, no, this is 100 to start with, because I got 
Yeah, so, so there's, much, there's, so much wood. There's material. There's glue. Yeah, there's, there's lots. Yeah. Stuff. All right. Nothing to it but to do it. In fact, oh, it got whoa. all the way through. Whoa! Uh. <laughs> yeah, there's no banding left. Uh. Oh boy. You have it going over the back at all. Maybe. No. Well, what are we going to do now? <laughs> Got to get creative. <laughs> no, this is that sinking feeling that I was hoping to avoid. Do a cutaway. <laughs> well, it's on the top. Oh. Okay, this is my first yeah. actual big mistake. So let's look at this. So I was trying to get in, see these two spots. Mm. So I was just going this way a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh no, so I went through to the perfume. perfume. And I take some of the blame there because I didn't do a good job uh, teaching you the technique. Yeah. And there's a sharper curve there. Yeah, this is a sharper curve. But there is a way, and you know, especially that hundred grit. Now, yeah. I mean, that thing was really cutting. Yeah. I, whew. so, wow. <laughs> what, splice piece in? Or is this on the inside? Put a brace. Because that's basically, um, there's that uh, bourgeois I was telling you about that somebody sanded too much, which I picked on them then, and now I make the same exact <laughs> ah, you, that That's what did it. <laughs> so, well, they did it here in the, yeah. in the waist. Yeah. But they just added an extra brace on the inside. Yeah, but, but, <sighs> but, but had they gone clear through. Now, see now, like if this was, hmm. If this was, uh, if the binding was was uh, t was going to be going clear to here, you could deal with that a little better. You could cover that, but mm. and then then you could put something inside to enforce it. Because, uh, but here we're going to have to actually splice in a new piece of uh, binding. Okay. And then it's going to stick way out. And then, I mean, I'm not saying we do that first. I'm just saying it, thinking about how, how you fix that. Uh, but then, some people, when they have something like this happen, will come up with an art 
uh, their art skill. They'd uh, do something yeah. art artistic that yeah. would, that would inc involve that yeah. area. Mm -hmm. So if you could, you know, instead of just splicing in a square thing, yeah, you come up with it like an inlay. Yeah, because uh, it will be like facing me. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could do a couple pieces of wood that are cut that look like the stacks of mountains, mm -hmm. like the Blue Ridge. Ooh. See, you might have something going there. Okay. Uh, you might have brokenness comes beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I yeah. I was I was relying. I think I was relying too heavily on how hard Osage is. Mm -hmm. You know what? It seems crazy. But sometimes the hardest woods is the easiest to sand. Mm hmm. Okay. It does. It's, uh, you know, if you uh, take pine, for instance, that's soft. Well, yeah. I guess what happens is the resin gets lodged in your paper, even from the get-go, yeah, even yeah, when yeah. it hardly looks like it. And next thing you know, it's, uh, it's not cutting as much. But also, uh, with hardwood, it's solid and it's there. Uh, it's not moving. Like if you got a, a pine board, the what do you call it? Uh, the, the little fragments in the wood. Oh yeah. Are like they almost bend with the oh, move okay. of the sandpaper. Yeah. Yeah, so it's got softer, so it's a couple of reasons there why softwood yeah. uh, a lot of times is, yeah. is harder I had to no actually idea stand. Was... Yeah. Are you artistic? We'll find out. Well, I mean, your idea you had there well, that's, yeah. shows you you are. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I was thinking the next, see if I can. Okay, so um, first thought was mountains, but that involves too many pieces. The other one is if we do the state of Virginia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since Virginia is near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all the wood was grown. That's true. Yeah. 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 And it was built. Yeah. So if we could cut out yeah, I like that. the shape of Virginia and just put it in here to where the flat line mm -hmm. Then we can cut it on the CNC, mm -hmm. then we can, that's probably Gray calling me back. Um, I called Gray Perchette, who's an amazing builder in North Carolina, mm -hmm. to pick his brain, but he didn't answer. Oh. Mm -hmm. So Gray, if you see this, <laughs> but anyway, while I was listening to his voicemail, I had that idea. Yeah, that's great. Anyway. Good idea. I like that. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's a little more pointy. Oh yeah, up in I here. was just. Yeah. Yeah, so that little bit over. Yeah. Which we don't have to do. Only. Uh, yeah. Who we're going to offend? There's, there's uh, dozens it's of not people even that connected live. except by a bridge. Huh? Yeah, and Maryland. <laughs> so. and, and Maryland, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So, yeah, I think if we can do like the main. I believe it needs to be the mainland, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I can't imagine how you could fit the other in there. Sorry, Eastern Shore. Yeah, we'd have to like <laughs> yeah, but, float it out here. But then I don't understand. It was this. Space? This was me like but, trying to like do it in my. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's where I'm like. Here's all the part of Virginia I know better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's Shenandoah County, uh, D.C., yeah, whatever, yeah. Virginia yeah. Beach. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm thinking this would maybe be a nice piece to use, like right out yeah. here. Yeah. Do you I like think that? This is the same piece that we pulled. Okay, back probably. Here. This would be yeah. longer. Yeah, that's, that's it. pretty. That's a good one, and it. Yeah, and like if you imagine Virginia, something like. That. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nice.
one of the guitars we took most, or at least most of my inspiration for building this OM came from this one, which this is serial number 95. This is one that I played earlier last year, and I love the neck profile on this. So it has a very specific V neck, um, and I also love this black line down the back of the neck, and so that's where, for me, I mean, look. Wow, I didn't realize even the tortoise. This, yeah. I'm just realizing how many details from this guitar made it into this one. So Osage Orange back and sides, Ebony back strip. Um, we're gonna do Sycamore on the back of the neck. Well, that's Walnut. Anyway, we'll figure that out yeah. uh, on the heel cap. Um, but yeah, uh, the Sycamore top as well. But anyway, so all of these things kind of culminate in what we're doing with this one. So we're, uh, Steve is taking some specific measurements to get close to this one. Now, no two necks are ever the same, especially if, like Steve, if you're shaping each one. for lunch looking like this. Yeah, I mean. Well, today was a doozy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, not what I signed up for. I was literally just thinking because Joyce said that she really likes doing fret work. And I was about to say, I really love uh, 
I was about to say I really love sanding guitars and then I made a giant mistake. So I sanded this side way too close and you'll see some of this, um, but there also was just trying to figure out what to do. So this channel, I always talk about music and friendship. That's how I try and solve problems that I have in my life. When I have a thing come up, I think, who do I know? What friends could help me out with this? The first person I thought of was Gray Burchett. Um, Gray is a great friend. He's an incredible guitar builder. He's down in North Carolina. And uh, I just knew Gray would have some idea. Now, I called Gray. He actually didn't answer. But while I was waiting for his voicemail, I had an idea come to me. So the first thought was that we would do some like mountains. Uh, we would do an inlay to cut out and fix this spot. But that didn't quite seem to make sense or just the we're limited by the logistics of how we can make that piece. So then I thought about all of us being from Virginia and this part of the guitar being close to my heart. I thought, let's do Virginia close to our heart. And um, it's poetic, and but I also like it. So we're going to do a small inlay of Virginia on the side of the guitar. And it'll be, now we didn't think about, I mean in five years, probably will be a little less noticeable as the colors match of the Sycamore and the Osage. But it'll fix where I went through the kerfing. But you worked so hard on the neck today. And we went for like a V profile on the neck. This is great. So headstock inlay is done and drill, the holes are drilled for the tuners. The fretboard is coming together. Man, it feels like a real guitar these days. So. Um, Steve, I'm sorry for this. Well, Joyce, I'm, I'm thankful for that. I'm sorry for this. Uh, I, man. Hey, it's okay. Anyway, I think something about when you make mistakes, own it. You'll get the bill for this. Good. No, it's my paycheck, right? Yeah. So anyway, well, that's the end of episode 13. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Joyce. Yeah, of course. And um, Thank you. please go check out Showalter Guitars. Uh, there's some really exceptional guitars that are coming along and um, that are always on the website there, showalterguitars.com. So bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you later.